So this time I'm in Jersey and this is actually the last nature trail video that I'm making so I thought I'd go out with a bang. Um, I've already done a few things this week, looking at some of the lizards, uh, did a shoot with red squirrels, but I'm having a look at the rock pools now in Jersey because obviously the tides here are quite unlike any of the other in Britain. So looking in the rock pools we're going to see what we can find. So it's all very well looking on your own but it's good to get local help. So I've called in someone. Yeah. Okay, so I'm with wildlife photographer uh, Mark Fox. Uh, where are <laughs> where, where are we? Oh, fuck it, we're just there. Uh... On the southeast coast there, eh? um, we are at Green Island. Green Island's just that patch of green over there, if you can see that. Yeah, so that's that's just a patch of green in the this whole area of the beach. And yeah, basically we're just looking around for rock pools because they're quite good here. We've just got to find a deep enough rock pool and to keep the camera dry. We're using housing here for the GoPro. So the tides here are meant to be a bit, uh, a bit different to the main aren't they? Uh, yeah, the range, the tidal range is pretty pretty big. I yeah. mean, you can be walking quite a distance. Yeah. Uh, which is why all of this rock here is exposed. Because, yeah, I mean, that's the top of the beach and then that's all the bottom, so it's quite a long way to the stuff I'm used to in Cornwall and stuff, so yeah. I suppose you have to be quite careful um, when you're out here. Yeah, because it, it does come in pretty quickly. I mean, the tide sort of hangs around and it's low staying around for about an hour. Yeah. Um, but you just have to keep an eye on it and make sure. I mean, it's not it's not that dangerous, but yeah. there's no big current around there. So. So, oh, um, it feels so weird. So one of the things you've got obviously a lot of shrimps in these rock pools, and they kind of pick <laughs> all the the bits of debris in there. And we've discovered after dipping our feet in <laughs> that they they like eating dead skin. <laughs> oh. And yeah, they are just picking in between our toes. <laughs> it feels so weird. Yeah. So do you do this often? But can I do it all the time? Eh? <laughs> Oh god, there's a huge one. That's a lobster in it. Oh, that one! Look at that! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> He's creeping up. <laughs> oh, oh I can feel the weight of that one. <laughs> I'll be cueing the Jaws music in a minute. Can you see him on my toe? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's moving up. He's starting to get a bit more... Food. Oh, another one's coming in for the girl. It's, it's one of those guilty pleasures. Yeah, it is. And I probably shouldn't be enjoying this as much as I am. <laughs> it's exciting me a bit too much. Yeah? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> that one there! What? Tearing up my skin, this one. <laughs> There's no dead skin there, surely? Yeah, it's just eating... On oh, this one? You know, once they sense blood, you know, they'll keep going at you. They're like sharks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's oh. my blood. This is quite nice though. <laughs> I might, yeah. Just we'll come back and we'll have smooth skin. Yeah, I reckon smooth so. Smooth as ever. So I reckon um, I'll stop the pedicure and see if I can actually find something to photograph now. Oh. So this is a cushion star. Um, they're only a small uh, starfish, but you get them kind of up and down. Uh, British rock pools and things. A tiny little thing, just moving on my hand. They've got like little tentacles almost that they move around in. We'll put him back. So as you can see, the tide's coming in quite fast now, so we've decided to just leave the rock pools. Um, so here's a few photos I've taken today uh, in Jersey. <laughs> 